Jesus Christ, it's hot. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Clash with Totters YouTube channel. And today, we're going to be maxing out my queen getting to level 75. Right guys, so as I say, we are getting my queen to level 75 in this episode, guys. 236,800 Dark Elixir. I am only 701 Dark Elixir short. Let's go out and hybrid a Legends base, get enough Dark Elixir, we'll book a Heroes over, we'll hammer, use the hammer on her. I won't say that the wrong way. And we will get her to max as soon as we can so make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already uh, click that like button and uh, comment in the box below anything you like let's keep in touch where have i been I'm doing all this stuff you know whatever you like so uh let's let's get right into it ah the teaser base the teaser base not ordinarily I would yeti bomb the crap out of this, but I don't have one. So let's try out. The most important thing is getting Dark Elixir, so let's do this, eh? Right. Queen goes down. Healer's down on top of that. I've got enough to upgrade my queen, guys. Just like that. Super wall breaks. Things not going in. Let's freeze those. Let's try this one. How would you go into this? I'm already not feeling too good about this one, guys, to be fair. I'll be honest, I have my CC from last night's eSports matchup, which is not what I would ordinarily want. Freeze that. this. I'm going to get the town hall. I'm going to get the town hall. Well, I can safely say I'm surprised I got the town hall. Um, didn't go quite to plan. But, main objective complete. And we have enough Dark Elixir now to upgrade my Queen. I'm going to do that now. So, not bad. Bearing in mind we didn't have the right gear. Right, so we got that down. Right, so we got enough to upgrade the Queen now. So what we'll do is we will upgrade her like so. And we'll use a Book of Heroes. So she is now done at level 73. I do have runes of Dark Elixir to use. So I have one there, which I will use now. Okay. And let's go straight back in and do it again. We've got another book of heroes. So that's now done. Okay. Now, I could use the hammer. But I don't want to use, obviously I've got that 61,000 
uh, Dark Elixir, that's why you would use the hammer and then farm up. However, I now have a Super Trip to use. And I really want to use this Inferno Dragon. So, uh, air is going to be really, really unbelievable at the moment with the Zack Quake and things like that. Video coming on that very soon. Um, and this is just the great, for someone who's really bad at Lalo like me, this is sort of like the Town Hall guarantee, if you like. So, let's, uh, let's unlock this baby. Plus, it will certainly help my clan mates out when we're doing CC trips and stuff like that because yeah, they're going to be pretty OP. So, Inferno Drag unlocked. Now, you're sort of saying, well, you didn't have any more runes. Well, actually, I did. Um, I've got a rune of Dark Elixir here, which I will now claim. And I will claim the Book of Heroes that is here as well. So, it's all working out fantastic. Let's... Oh, use ah. oh no I've moved my thing ok uh, magic items we use the rune it's going to be used again we've got the book of heroes she is now max boom now boom she is now max. Look at that, 75. And all it took was a little bit of perseverance. Perseverance to make sure that we worked a little bit harder with her. I've done a little bit of farming and things like that. I can now do some farming for my next level of hero upgrades. Um, make sure I don't forget that book of heroes. I would hate to lose that at any point. What else have I got in here? Hero potion, I used that last night. Resource potion, always worth having. Power potion, I don't. I haven't used yet. Again, I've got another hero potion. Obstacle shovel, don't need that yet. Book of spells, don't need that either. I've got the uh, uh, clone spell to use. Power potion, obviously, don't need yet. So I might just take the gems, I don't know. We'll see how it play out from there. But let's go and see what happens now using my new Max Queen in Legends League with Hybrid. Right guys, I had a quick shower because it was roasting hot. But essentially, um, this is the first base I got in Legend League. And uh, I could have done with Siege Barracks Hulks, to be fair. I had needed a Yeti Boom for the last one and needed Siege Barracks Hulks for this one. But at the end of the day, it's all about trying out the new Max Queen, level 75. Got a nice teaser base here. So get to try out the new Headhunters as well, see how they do. And we're going live solo for a preemptive rage. Drop a loon to distract, obviously take out some sands if they're there. Queen goes down, headhunters are behind. And Queen does not have to use ability. Out comes a Yeti bomb from the CC, which is kind of kind of strange. Tornado Trap brings the healers into play, which is never really ideal. I have to burn both freezes on the town hall just to keep them alive. So it's not really gone too well. Super Wall broke in, and Queen is now under some seriously heavy fire. We've got one more rage to see how that sort of pans out. Now, what I would be looking to do if I had Siege Barracks holes would have, would have dropped the Siege Barracks up at 12 o'clock um, and then started everything from down there. But in the end, I decided to blimp to try and narrow the path in for the hybrid anyway. I could have used a siege barracks to be fair, I did have one available and in hindsight it probably was the right call. The queen eventually goes down, ability goes off, but Scattershot takes care of her in the end. It's a good blimp to be fair, it's a pretty decent amount of value. And then the hybrid sort of works down from there. And again, I think maybe the king up at War 1, 130 would have been a better better choice rather than having him beat on the wall up there. So, as I say, I think I was a little bit flustered by the town hall. It didn't really go quite to plan, but if I say if that king was pointed at 130, it would have made a very clear path into the hybrid in through the back side of the base. Going through nicely, no more spells left. Royal Champs in there with ability. 
she's going to work through and clear out the outside defences. Scattershot isn't quite going down, unfortunately the warden, whilst they've locked onto it, when all the miners went down, he transferred over to that Royal Champion, so the Scattershot stays up. And this isn't, this isn't going to be a triple guys, but it was, again, it was more about just testing out that new queen, seeing how she was doing. But again, with Headhunters, with Rage, she didn't go into ability. Uh, where ordinarily you would have been freezing and poisoning for days so yeah no pretty good right so that is it guys thank you ever so much for watching if you've liked this video please smash that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already click on the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video